Pokemon has introduced a lot of interesting Pokemon with a lot of cool abilities. Some are which are really broken and some are really bad. Today we're going to go over the new generation 9 Pokemon that have really cool abilities but suck in competitive Pokemon. Starting off we have Cloth, the rock crab looking thing. Cloth actually got a really cool ability in that in Anger Shell where basically after its HP is below half, its attack, special attack and speed are raised by one stage with decreases in both its defense stats. This is actually a really cool ability and is eerily similar to the move of Shell Smash but in an ability form. If this ability let's say was on Lucario, it perhaps would have been even better, considering that this could really help pair up with the user of priority and setup so in theory a plus 2 sword stance and then the ability activates and now you are seated comfortably in a position of power. The issue is with Cloth and its stats. It has middling HP stat, horrible speed and awful special defense stat. Being a slow frail on the special side and a rock type makes it susceptible to easy counterpicks like Walking Wake or Greninja. Even physical attackers can have their way with this Pokemon. It is far too frail and is too slow for any consideration in the OU tier which is why it's all the way down in NU where it can somehow thrive. Well Baked Body is such a good ability, I mean seriously have you seen this ability? Unfortunately this was put on a mad Pokemon like Dash Bun. Don't get me wrong, I love this cute dog but competitively I would rather not. Just imagine if this ability was on any other Pokemon like Corviknight, seriously it would be a menace. But obviously like all the Pokemon on this list. Dashman isn't short of competitive disappointment. Dashman is a Pokemon that really wants to be a defensive ace as his stats stay so but it struggles in a couple key ways. 1. It really struggles against the tier's most vaunted Pokemon of King Gambit and Goldengo who could bring down this fairy dog with ease. Its fairy typing while it is nice and don't get me wrong its neutrality to fire isn't anything to bash at, the immunity to fire really makes no sense for it. Yeah sure you can get the more powerful body presses but there are too many formidable ghost types to handle it and Corviknight is a thing and can easily switch into it and make it pay back with this rocky helmet especially since its base physical attack stat of 80 isn't anything to be feared of. For recovery moves as well, it gets Wish, but that isn't as reliable as something like Recover on Garganical. Great ability, but wrong Pokemon. But something that is also really great is subscribing to Chompy and getting great Pokemon content. If you subscribe to Chompy, I promise you will enjoy great Pokemon content for a long period of time and maybe in the future, some of these OP abilities you might actually see on your favorite Pokemon. Subscribe to find out. Now, Rocky Payload is also another interesting ability where rock type moves used by the Pokemon are increased by 1.5 power multiplier, basically in short acting like a third stab to the Pokemon. Bombardier is right there on the competitive scene, but it lacks some key things. Most notably, it's for an offensive flying type. Opposite to what Corviknight is, having a speed of 82 really puts a damper on most things. You are a very slow bird and Pokemon like Rotom Wash, Goldango, Great Tusk, Dragapult, etc. can all outspeed and deal a ton of damage. And it's not like the bird is super bulky either, it has mediocre defenses to go along with its offensive stats. In addition, a 103 attack stat isn't anything amazing in this generation. If it just had perhaps a 107 to 110, that would probably help greatly. Don't get me wrong, a third stat for any Pokemon is a great advantage to have, but Bombardier's poor stats and needing to run a choice scarf half the time because of its speed tier really slows down its momentum. Electromorphosis is one of the coolest abilities I've seen in a Pokemon released in this generation. It basically is the move charged wrapped up into an ability. But the issue is with Bellabolt, and while it tries to be a tanky wall that can dish out pure damage after the fact, there are too many Pokemon that are faster than this slow thing and can be good counters to it as well. And it doesn't even have to be ground types that can be counters to it as well like Great Tusk, Dragonite, Baxcalibur, Roaring Moon and more can easily take it out with an EQ. And even still, it will probably falter to the more impressive faster electric type Pokemon in Rotom Wash which is a dual type electric and water type that is immune to ground and can punish them for much stronger moves like Hydro Pump. It is too slow outclassed and more importantly it is super weak to the mana at the moment and with Landris Therian and others coming back soon in Pokemon Home, its competitive viability doesn't have a pretty future in the coming months. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any abilities and thank you guys for watching and join the discord please it's right there join it!